everyone, I'm Nazarat Fatima. Welcome to Live Law. The Supreme Court has today on 18th of May issued notice to the Delhi police in the bail plea of the JNU student activist Umar Khalid. A bench comprising Justices A.S. Bopanna and Hima Kohli was considering Khalid's plea, challenging the decision of the Delhi High Court to deny him bail last year. Senior advocate Kapil Sibal appeared for Umar Khalid before the Apex Court. In the year 2020, the infamous Northeast Delhi communal riots took place and many of us are aware of the seriousness of the incidents that took place back then. The violence basically started with the protests against the Citizenship Amendment Act and turned into an ugly and unfortunate series of events where 53 people died and more than 700 were injured. Umar Khalid, who is a scholar and researcher and a former student from JNU, is one of the accused, along with 59 others, including Pinjra Tod members Devangana Kalita and Natasha Narwal, Jamia Milia Islamia student Asif Iqbal Tanha and student activist Gulfisha Fatima. He was booked under the Anti-Terror Law Unlawful Activities Prevention Act and some provisions of the Indian Penal Code in the case for allegedly being the masterminds of the February 2020 riots. Umar Khalid was arrested by the Delhi Police Special Cell on 14th of September 2020. During his detention, he was granted a week's interim bail. Additional sessions, Judge Amitabh Rawat of the trial court granted the bail by reason of his sister's marriage. He was released from the jail after 832 days. Last year in March, the trial court had denied him bail and later when the matter was an appeal in the Delhi High Court, the court upheld the trial court's order to deny him bail. A division bench of Justice Siddharth Mridhul and Justice Rajneesh Bhatnagar had observed that the protests against the Citizenship Amendment Act 2019 paved a way for the 2020 North East Delhi riots through various conspiratorial meetings which were held from December 2019 till February 2020 and Umar Khalid also attended some of these meetings. The High Court's order had also mentioned specifically that some of the words used by Umar Khalid in a speech given in Amravati in February 2020 were quite inciting. The court had taken a serious view of Khalid using words like Inkalabi Salam, which means revolutionary salute, and Krantikari Istakbal, meaning revolutionary welcome. The court had also said in context of the concept of revolution that revolution by itself is not always bloodless, which is why it is contradistinctly used with a prefix, a bloodless revolution. So when we use the expression revolution, it is not necessarily bloodless. In addition to this, while the matter was being heard, the Delhi High Court had also questioned Umar Khalid for using some word against the Prime Minister and had commented that there should be a Lakshman Rekha for criticism. That's all about it for now. To know about the upcoming developments in the case, stay in touch with Live Law. To read the stories, go to our website and click on Top Stories. If you like our content, please like and share and subscribe to our channel on YouTube and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you for watching.